I was like, what was the best gig you've done? Best gig? Um, or a notable gig, for whatever reason that might be. Ooh, that's a really difficult one, that. Um, it's like more than one. Do you know, right, the last time the full band played the Primrose in Leeds... Okay. Home turf. Home turf, yeah. That was the good Ten ones. minutes from my house. Whereabouts is the pre On Meanwood Road. I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think where. Meanwood Road. Oh! Just near the it's petrol kind of station. Like right where the junction is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Bosley yeah. Thorpe Lane. I know yeah. Which one you yeah. Mean. So, yeah, that was nice because it was home turf. It was packed. Um, yeah. And what for me was really nice about it was lots of women turned up to okay, see cool. us um, you know because quite often a lot of the bands that well you'll know this we play most places there's not a lot of females represented particularly when it's like bands yeah we do mm, yeah. we were uh, I don't think we really we got we got a fair few women at our gigs don't we? I think we I don't yeah. know because it's because we're I get acoustic and they don't know what to get him. Yeah. They tend to get fair. I don't yeah. know if it's our good looks and their anything. I think it might no, be. I mean, on the stage. Yeah. I mean, to, be honest, to be honest, it could be our good looks and charm. I yeah. think that's the answer. Yeah. I think we found the answer. Yeah. But you I think are. it's, you know, it's like, you know, there's not, you know, yeah, I, not I, mean. I've, I've been to like whole mm. days of bands and there's not been a single woman set foot on the I stage. Think, I think that kind of, especially mm. like in the punk scene, because it's a, got that more um, dangerous vibe to mm. it, just purely mm. by whether that's true or not. Just purely by association with the word punk, mm. like whether you can, you know, argue whether that's uh, justified or not. But um, I mean, I would probably say yeah. not, and it's probably driven massively by the media. But yeah. r- regardless, yeah. it still is there. Yeah. So you get like, you know, uh, loud bands in dark rooms. You know, women don't feel, I, I would yeah. imagine, absurdly safe based on reputation alone. It doesn't have to be anything to yeah. do with the people there. It's just... And it's it's also about location of venues and uh, safety of getting home, sure, things yeah, like that yeah, as well. Yeah. And I, I, I find this as well, like um, with a lot of young women musicians and stuff as well, that I think that, that can prevent them from getting on further as well because yeah. you get up and you do a performance, suddenly people think they own you and they can give you a lot of grief, yeah. you know. Like you're on stage, you belong to them. Yeah, so. you know, and it's like, and you can be pestered and stuff, you know. I'm fortunate that I'm a lot older. I've got my own car. You know, I can, you know, I've usually got my other half with me. Mm. Um, but even when I'm not, you know, I can get myself out of situations. I know what to look out for. But, you know, if I had to go and get on a bus with my guitar. Late at night, yeah. Yeah, you know, mm. and it's just, it's, it is things like that. And I don't think promoters take that into consideration. Um you know, and it's like I've started recently doing doing some promotion stuff. You know, and one of the things that I, you know, I do want to really sort of like focus on is if you worked in a bar, a lot of bars get ta- make sure taxis are available for staff, things like that. You yeah, know, sure. and it's just like how are people getting home? Yeah, <laughs> into the night. Well, in the day, it's the, the, the as far as they're concerned, the night's over. They've done their job. Off you go. You know, it's not. Yeah, they, yeah, they see yeah. In the, they see it in that kind of long, long term view, I guess. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, being, being in the Premi on home ground, it was a really, really good gig. Um, and we just recently had a, a, a new guitarist playing with us. And it was just like, it was just a really nice, lively gig where we really got into it, you know, and it was it was nice. So it, Fulford Arms was, was, was great as well. Um, um, so, but just recently, I'm, I'm focusing on some solo stuff again. Um, and I've got a really big gig this week. I am playing the big festival. Down in oh, the yeah, Cotswolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, shitting myself. <laughs> no, think of it, consider it Consider it as a warm up for Centre Stage. Yeah, right. Big right, right. <laughs> festival, yeah. tiny bar. Actually, yeah. I, tell, I tell you, actually, in terms of really nice gigs, um, just recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I played up in Barnard Castle um, at the Witham Summer Festival. All right. And it was a, a solo set um, in this orchard and stuff. Oh, wow. And the audience were just lovely. They were absolutely fantastic. They really appreciated the music. So they the, the, they actually listened. Yeah, so much so that they've booked me to actually play the theatre in February. So they've actually they've got they've nice. got enough faith in that I'm going to fill out a 250 seat theatre. So you know, so hence that's why Joanna, <laughs> you need to come over from Portugal. Um, you know, so so that was really really nice. And then last weekend I was played the Fever Festival in Nairsborough, uh, the picnic in the park, um, and that was nice. It was a few hundred there. Um, and that was like a proper big stage, you know, and stuff. And it was just like. It, it it was just really nice, you know. It's like I've been, you know, those big inflatable dome stages. Mm-hmm. I was like, ooh, this is a tent. 